Welcome back everybody, Pro Spartan Gamer with more FIFA 15 career action with Everton. This is episode 13, still in the window, still trying to do lots of business, hoping for a financial takeover as well to make things a little bit easier because we are struggling at the moment, languishing in middle table mediocrity with the Everton team, out of Europa League as well, so we need something. And we are playing West Brom, who we beat 5-0 earlier in the season, so... Let's have a look at the team. We've gone in with the new signing, Ed Eyre, up front alongside Lukaku. We've got the Shermanator and Barkley and Giovinco all pushing on for midfield. And we've also brought in the new left back to give Leighton Baines a rest. And I'm not even sure how you say this. We're going to say it's Ekiji or something. Edison Ekiji. It's probably nothing like it, but he's a bit of a tank. Nigerian left back with 89 strength. And they're built like a brick shit house, basically. So let's crack on with this action then. And um, let's see if we can turn over the baggies at Goodison Park. Here we are then. Goodison Park expects. They expect West Ham sent. Um, West Brom, not West Ham. West Brom to be sent packing back to the Midlands with nothing in their carrier bag. And we're expecting a really big performance from Everton. And there you see it. A win here. Well... Could put us in the top six. Martin Tyler and Alan Smith have turned up to be told to piss off again. You are not reporting on this match because it's a pro Spartan gamers gig. When will you realise you're not welcome here at Goodison Park? You pair of big tits. Everton's struggling here. Haven't been able to get all of this bum on the cliff at all. Is Ichi. What well, we're going to call him Edison. It's easier to say. Great play from Romano. Lukaku! Wooska! Flashing drive on his wrong peg and in, in fairness is probably about 10 yards wide. Taking it like that. And there's in, right there. First real chance. What a finish from right there. On debut, the big boys delivered. Great ball from Romano Lukaku and right there. Memories of the forgotten penalty, the farce of the penalty have gone. What a finish from Ed Eyre, look at that. Cross the keeper, that is how to finish off a chance. Suck on that bad boy, Ben Foster. 1-0 Everton. Giovinco, ooh, forces a save from Ben Foster. Put it in. The quarry's the man there waiting. It's coming out to Ross Bartley. You can hit a ball, mind he scored many a good goals. Gonna have another strike. Ooshka! Straight into the midriff of Foster and he's bound down and saved it. Everton would have liked the second here. Their dominance deserved it. West Brom have had one or two moments, but nothing that good. How can there be five minutes of added on time in the first half? Oh, West Brom's at the crossbar it's offside. I think it was offside anyway, and the whistle's gone for full, for half time. We're one 0 up, and all to play for in this second half. It's Julian Lescott walks off. Been a decent first half from Everton. Should be more than one goal to the good. I don't think we're making any changes at the moment. I'll see you back for the second half in a jiffy tiffy. Here we are then, second half to start. We need another goal just to put this one to rest. That's what we really do need. Edison Elchi. Great turn from Sebastian Giovinco. Lovely play. Waniyama pushed on. Giovinco! Oh, deflected over. And the Geo man nearly had another. Surely going to get a goal today. Is that goal from Edder going to be enough to hold up still? Veloy. Giovinco again. Sebastian Gio... Oh, save from Foster. Giovinco with about his sixth shot of the day. Three minutes to go. Everton get a bit nervy here. Waiting for the final whistle. Valoy not worried about having the football. Finds Ed Air. Corner kick Everton. Surely. 
The points are staying at Goodison Park. This first game of episode 13. Victor Waniyama's got an injury. That's not good. Corey. Bartley can hit a ball. <laughs> Put down on the edge, wasn't he, surely? There it is. Three points are staying here. Priceless win. That's about three wins on the spin now. Including the cup win at Sheffield United. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. We've got some transfer deals to do then, which we'll let you know about. Let's just see where that leaves us in the table. Comfortable 1-0, really. Now you see it, 10 shots to West Brom's 2. Really was quite a comfortable win. Man of the match, Victor Waniyama, but I think he picked up an injury, which is not going to be good news. If he's seriously injured, won't be good at all. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. There is a table, and that's the highest we've been for a long time. We are up to seventh place, and we are just on the tails of those, that top four or five now with 33 points. It's a late charge from Everton here. Two-thirds through the table, and we're putting in a good run. Got a chance of getting into that top five for sure now. This is the highest we've been for a long time, and we're up to seventh. Right, I will let you know who's up next and what transfer news is, if any more deals are done. If we do get the money from the takeover, and I'll be back in a minute. Cheers. So next up is a team for the big one against Man City at home. Bit of transfer news breaking as we speak. Sergio Barahino from West Brom has been offered a contract. Um, could be a good signing because Anthony Marshall has gone to Paris Saint-Germain, the money bags. We couldn't resist the £12.5 million pound they offered. We didn't pay anywhere near that money for him. We paid about three, I think. So, good profit on Marshall. And we've brought in another young forward, hopefully, Sergio Barahimu, on only eleven grand a week. So, it could be a really good deal for us, hopefully. No other news at the moment. Um, takeover still hasn't gone through. There must be a hitch with the paperwork or something. I don't know what's going on there. Because we were hoping to have some big funds bought in with the takeover to make some marquee signings to really give us a push for the Champions League. But the dirty Arabs obviously pulled the money out or something, or the oil well dried up so they didn't come through with a cheque that they promised. And this is a team we're left with. And it's in against Man City, top of the table. There's the side, gone a little bit more defensive, brought Carvalho back in. Um, we're still going with the two big boys up front, the big BBs up front in Lukaku and Eder. Let's get on with this game then. Goodison on a big, big afternoon against top of the table Man City. I expect those two knobbers will turn up trying to commentate on this again. We need to put some poison in their tea or some turbo laxatives or something so they'll be running with their ass cheeks rattling as they run to the toilet for two farts and a shit. No, they haven't turned out this time. They're gradually getting the idea. We've got to stop Sergio Aguero. That's what we've got to stop. Get into the face of him. Make sure he knows how ugly we look. Come on, Everton. Big, big game this. We're on a good run at the moment. We've got to keep it going here. Man City will be desperate to get the result. They are top, as we said. And Stone's back in today for a Corey. Does good mopping up there. Seamus Coleman. Good ball to Ed Air. Got some real strength up front with those two. And Giovinco just in behind. It is a nice looking front three now. Baines back in today. But he didn't let anyone down, did he? Giovinco dropping and picking up in space. Looking to go around the outside. Good ball into the box for the big boy. Lukaku! He's rose like a salmon on the back stick and he's nodded home after six minutes. The Gladys Street end is up on their feet in raptures. And it's that man Giovinco to Romano Lukaku. Lovely header. Lovely header. Look at the Gladys Street end. Fantastic scenes here. Man City, they'll be crying in their own milk. But it's a great header on the back stick. Look at this. Beautiful. Bold headed beacon can bend over and pick that bad boy out. He should have used head of shoulders and then he would have had a head of hair like Joe Hart. 
Eighth goal for Romano Lukaku. Having a really good season here at Everton. Good turn from Sebastian Giovinco. Great play from him. Oh, forced another save from the goalie. This is an Everton rash. Surely the second goal's coming. They really have up the ante here. What a great save. Everton playing some good, good football here. They deserve the second goal. It's a bit similar to the West Brom game, to be fair. When we looked like we needed to get the second goal. Couldn't quite, didn't get it. Oh, this time it's John Stones with a noddy. Blow the whistle, ref. I'm going to get in now. There it is. Great first half here at Goodison Park. Second half to come. Shouldn't think there'd be too many changes. They're in behind. Nazare back stick. Oh, side net in. Really good chance for Man City early on in this second half. Head ahead to wrap out the points. Oh, inside of the post along the line. Oh, unlucky Head Air. Great strike with his left foot. Really unlucky. Let's go to the bench and have a look what we're going to do. Head Air is quite tired. Giovinco. Giovinco will definitely come off for Cardenius. Do we bring morales on for a bit of wheels up front we will morales will come on in that right forward position and do we want to make one more change in midfield is it be john valoy who come on for a tired well i don't know i think it would have to be for ross bartley if he's coming on we'll hang fire on that one i think lanny Amel wins ball but it breaks kindly for man city into the box get it out just get it out. Run, Kevin Super Kev. You've got the length of the pitch to go. Run, son. Run. Go on, Cardenius. Brilliant play from the boys out there. Ross Bartley with a bit of space. Gives it to Baines. Lukaku. Oh, drives it across. One, it was one armor actually. Good counter attack from Everton. Cardenius tries to win ball in the middle. This is getting desperate now. It's getting so tight. Come and get Timmy Howard. Two minutes to go and Howard's thrown it straight into the crowd like a right dickhead. What the hell's he done that for? Just trying to pass it to Baines. The bold headed upside down beacons thrown it right into the crowd. Put pressure on us. The Stasic wins a crucial ball against his old club. Lukaku to Morales. Morales with time to run at him. Kevin Morales against a tired Man City. Morales! Oh! Surely close to making it too. Keeper had to save it. This game is end to end now, and Everton don't want that really. Ball into the box. Brilliant from Carvalho. He's back there defending. Sherman. Cadenius runs at Man City. And he's running them wild. Great play from Shermanator. There it is. There it is. What a win at home against the champions elite Man City. Two wins on the spin. 1-1. 1-0, and it's that Romano Lukaku forehead that's got the goal. Whacked it into the net. It's a good win, that. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. Go after seven minutes, and then it was a hard-fought game for the rest of it. Man City only having one shot on target. People came off the bench and done well. It's a whole squad effort, that. Let's see where that leaves us in the table. Got one more match. In this episode and obviously updates on the transfers etc want to see the table i don't want to see oh we've got a fourth we've got a fourth round fa cup tie against northampton town that should be interesting we should be able to rest some bods in that one that could be a goal fest really could really could be a, a goal fest but i want to see the table
want to see if we're up into that top six where we've never been all season. It'd be great to be up there. Well, we were up there at the beginning of the after three games. We are seventh. Still not up there. 36 points. We're only a point away from the top four. QPR are fourth. That is amazing. How the hell have they got up there? Christ, QPR fourth. That's a bit of a strange one. We are a point behind Man United or in fifth. And we are, well, if QPR win their game in hand, they go above Chelsea in second place. That is the turn up of the season, I should think. QPR up there. Crazy. Anyway, any more transfer news, I will let you know. Um, otherwise, I'm not... It's a game against Northampton to finish this episode. So final game of episode 13 is what should be a formality against Northampton Town, hopefully. This is the side we've gone in with. We've brought in a totally new back four with E.E. Elchi, the Nigerian left back, Brendan Galloway, Akori and Tyus Browning in the midfield. Besic, Veloy and Cardenius in midfield. Atsu, Morales and Dongu up front. Lots of experience on the bench and also the new signing, Barahimo, who's come in basically as a like-for-like -like replacement for Anthony Marshall, except for he's only cost a fraction of the amount of Marshall. So once again, bringing in the youngster to hopefully bring on um, big profit on Anthony Marshall, hopefully big profit on Barahimo as well. Big game. Um, lots of goals to come oh the other big news is anderson gets his debut in goal instead of tim howard as well see for kevin morales he ain't gonna be able to handle his pace don't go fast that oh good chance for the youngster he scored a couple cherries this year and it's quite clear that they cannot handle the pace of super kevin morales Dongu. One more. Cardenius. Oh, good save. Best move of the half, probably. Still no goal, though. We haven't been able to get Super Kev on the ball. He was the one that started off and looked amazing. Cardenius again. Cardenius. Oh, opened up and there's another shot from the... Colombian, they've thrown a body over and it's gone over. Morales is down in a heap and the stretcher is on for Kevin Morales. That is bad news. We're going to have to make a change that we didn't want to. And it's going to be the new boy, Barahimo, coming on on the right side because he can play on the right wing. And early debut for Sergio Barahimo. Morales has hurt his shoulder and he's probably going to be out for a while, which isn't good news. We've had to bring on Ed Eyre and Giovinco for the second half. Dongu off and also Besic try and liven it up. And hopefully the pace of Giovinco will frighten the life out of this lowly low team. And we'll get the goal. It's running straight at the heart of them straight away. Giovinco. Get in the net. Oh. What a good run from Giovinco. That's why they brought him on. They won't be able to handle him. We know that. Somehow the keeper saved it. Beloy. Beloy tries one. Oh! Hit the back stanch. And how close was that? That was very close. Can't see it on that replay. That replay's useless. But that was very close. No, it was. Oh, Giovinco, surely? Oh, this has got the writing all over the wall that ain't going to happen. How is that missed? Post all the way along the line and then out for a goal kick. Unbelievable. Bench can't believe it. I can't believe it. An hour gone. And how is it not 1-0? Cardenius looking. Great ball. Berahimo. Does well outside his Veloy. John Valoy cutting across. John Valoy, surely! Yes! Get in the net, John Valoy! God, it was hard work and it was a long time coming. But John Valoy, the Colombian, with his second goal on an Everton shirt. Ease the pain here at Goodison. And the main thing is the result. Good play from Sergio Barahimo as well on debut. 
And it's John Valoy with a big left footed drive past the Northampton Town goalie. Finally. They're in. Oh, and they've scored in the 87th minute. Christ, they've got, they got a late, late goal. The keeper's fumbled it. And it's broke to them. And how the hell are they in this game? And it's just typical. Ian Morris with a goal for Northampton. With two minutes to go. We've absolutely bossed this game. Shots upon shots. The keeper's made some saves. He's rattled the beans on toast. And how are they still in it? It's Christian Atsu goes on a marauding run. And wins a corner. In the two minutes to go. Surely it's a corner. He's given a free kick, actually. Cannot believe how we are only at 1-1 here. Crazy. Berahini. Giovinco! Oh, how many more shots is this keeper going to save? Crazy. This is going to a replay at the moment. We don't want that. Berahimu. Penalty given. Foul on John Valoy. Right in the dying embers here. Wasn't much of a foul. Well, just trot him. Let's make sure this penalty doesn't go stupid and take it straight away. Like before. Don't know who they're giving the penalty. Penalty two is not somebody we want to take it. Christian Atsu. Giovinco will have it. Come on then. Should be buried. Giovinco. And yes, that's the way to do it. Right at the death. Got our just deserved. Brave, brave Northampton. But really, we bossed this game. It should be five or six. Hit the post. It. Hit the keeper in the face, he hadn't known. And it's Giovinco's penalty from the John Valoy foul. Keeper looks disgusted, but he can go home, Duke. There's no way you were saving that. Giovinco was going to bag that one in. No mess up that time with the penalty stick like we had in the game previously. Should be all over them. Waiting for the referee to put it in his mouth and blow hard. Berahinu, Ed Air, is he through? Oh, and Atsu with an absolute sitter and he's missed to make it 3-1 at the end. Doesn't matter, I think the whistle's gone. The Corey celebrating. They're celebrating like they've won the cup. They've only beat Northampton Town 2-1. It's not that big a result. Should have been more comfortable than that. But we're through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Shouldn't think there's going to be any more transfers to discuss. Only we have gone in for the young German right winger Sergio Nabi, who we will call Granny Pig. Granny P. If he comes to the club with me. Yeah, he's accepted the contract. So that'll be the only other signing then. Forever and on transfer deadline day will be the signing of Serge Nabi, or affectionately known as Granny Pig. And that'll be the end of it. Shouldn't think anybody's going to come in. We've got some. That's just him coming to the club, I'm sure. Transfer offer for Sylvain Distan. Well, he's going to go. We just let him go. There's no, there's no money because he's already out of contract. But it'll be his wages, so we will let him go. Sylvain Distan can go to QPR. Even though QPR are up there, that might not have been the best bet selling him to them, but. Player sold, yeah, Distan's gone on a free transfer deal. It's the only deal that's going to happen, I think. We've got no other money, really, in the coffers. Board have allocated not. Well, thanks, that's really kind of you, the board. No pound to your transfer budget. Tight-ass gits. Any other offers coming in for anybody? Doesn't look like it. Ticking away now. Shouldn't think anything else is going to happen now. Four hours left. No one coming in for last minute. We've got a couple up for sale. 
but no one wants them. Aidan McGeady's one we were looking to get rid of. But no, nothing's going to happen then late now. That will then wrap up this episode 13. So a couple youngsters in, nothing major in the window really. Um, we've managed to do there. No real big players. I suppose we've got Cardenas in, we've got Ed Air in. Um, Marshall went, Naismith went in the exchange deal for Ed Air. And Anthony Marshall went for 12.5 million. So that was the biggest outgoing, no doubt about it. Not a lot of other deals. We've got what we got for the second half of this season. When we're not sat too bad, we've sort of recovered a little bit. So hopefully we can go on and really do the business. There you see it. We spent 11 million in the window and we bought in 13.6. So we've actually made a profit in that window of 2.6 million, which isn't too bad. <laughs> anyway, I'm the Pro Spartan Gamer and I'll catch you very soon. Cheers, dudes. The